In this demonstration, we will be covering the replacement parts for the one and a half inch model E3 deluge valve. The replacement parts offered for the one and a half inch model E3 deluge valve can be found in Viking's replacement parts book or on the technical data sheet. The most current information can be found on the replacement parts book or technical data sheet on our website. The Model E3 deluge valve has two kits offered for replacement parts, the diaphragm repair kit and the clapper assembly kit. The parts offered in both of these kits are also available for replacement individually as well. The parts offered in the diaphragm repair kit are the upper diaphragm, the lower diaphragm, the clapper assembly, and the screw and sealing washer assembly. The parts offered in the clapper assembly replacement kit are the cover screws, the clamp plate, the end plates, the upper diaphragm, the lower diaphragm, the piston, the clapper assembly, and the screws and sealing washer assemblies. To remove the cover, remove each of the screws. With the screws now removed, you can remove the cover and gently set it aside. With the cover now removed, you can see the clamp plate and the upper diaphragm. To remove the clamp plate, remove the screw and sealing washer assembly. With the screw and sealing washer assembly now removed, you can remove the clamp plate and the upper diaphragm. The next part that we can remove is the spacer. When removing the spacer, examine it to make sure that it is installed back in the proper orientation. An easy way to do this is you will see that the vent in the back of the spacer is near the body on the bottom. Remove the spacer and gently set it aside. With the spacer now removed, we can remove the piston, the lower diaphragm, and the clapper assembly from the valve. Remove the top end plate. To remove the clapper assembly, remove the screw and sealing washer assembly from the piston. With the screw and sealing washer assembly now removed, we can remove the clapper assembly, the lower diaphragm, and the bottom end plate from the piston. To start installing the repair parts, first we can install the bottom end plate onto the piston. Next, we can install the lower diaphragm onto the piston, verifying that the fabric side of the lower diaphragm is facing towards the piston. Next we can install the new clapper assembly. To install the new clapper assembly, line up the holes of the clapper assembly with the lower diaphragm and the piston. At this point we can install the new screw and sealing washer assembly.
The piston clamper assembly and lower diaphragm can now be installed into the body of the valve. When installing them, make sure that you line up the holes of the lower diaphragm with the body of the valve. At this point, we can now reinstall the spacer. When reinstalling the spacer, verify that the vent hole is on the back and is on the lower end of the spacer closer to the body. Line up the holes of the spacer and install them onto the lower diaphragm. Now the top end plate can be installed onto the new piston. At this point we can install the new upper diaphragm onto the new piston. Verify that the fabric edge is facing down towards the piston and line up the holes of the upper diaphragm with the spacer. Install the new clamp plate onto the upper diaphragm. At this point, hand thread each of the cover screws into the upper diaphragm, the spacer, the lower diaphragm, and down into the valve body. This is done so that in the next step, when we attach the screw and sealing washer assembly back into the piston, the force of turning the wrench does not misalign all the other holes that you have lined up previously. Install the new screw and sealing washer assembly. Remove each of the screws that you hand threaded into the body. With the screws removed, you can now install the cover back onto the valve. Line up the holes of the cover with the upper diaphragm and install the new screws. The other replacement parts offered are the vent screw and the vent washer. These two parts are offered individually and are not offered in either of the replacement kits. To remove the existing vent screw, remove it from the top of the valve. and remove the vent washer as well. To install the new vent washer and new screw, place the vent washer in the top of the cover and install the new screw. This concludes our demonstration for the repair parts for the inch and a half model E3 deluge valve.